Okay, so here's going to be uh, an example of our new LED ballast box, um, pre-built ballast box enclosures. As you can see here, uh, we're using Thomas Research Products drivers. We're now incorporating um, dimmers into these units by default. We have uh, on this particular box two drivers and there's manual dimmer switches which you can slide back and forth as such and those will dim your two uh, LED channels um, we have uh, triple rocker switches here um, switching to the left uh, will enable a mode so that it'll interface with the manual dimmers center position is off and position to the right will either run the LEDs at 100 percent full power uh, at all times or if you have um, something like a reef controller like a reef keeper with an ALC for example you can also utilize uh, these uh, jacks as well on on the side here one uh, they correspond uh, with the switches and so what that'll do is it'll put the uh, dimmer into a bypass mode so uh, if you flip the switch into the right position the manual dimmer will no longer function um, it'll send the signal um, to this jack instead here uh, that can handle a 0 to 10 volt signal and uh, you can control the whole system that way um, that's something that we've never done before um, here, you know, we have our, our standard three-prong power cords and uh, our wiring harness here. I don't have the uh, pretty, you know, connected pigtail wiring hooked up on the wires here, but that will happen. And finally, we also have down here um, a built-in uh, AC adapter jack for the fans instead of our old version, which um, would have a a DC jack dongle that would actually wire hang would out or wire to hang out the ballast box itself um, you can see a little bit of the inside here it's kind of a mess there's a lot of wires to fit into one small area but that's it uh, you can get an idea here we're also going to do a little bit of engraving onto the box itself depending on the, the, the uh, engraving will change depending on uh, exactly what um, the uh, particular boxes that we're going to be using um, also just for an example um, this is for the fan power you know this will if I can get an angle down here that'll plug in here for the fan power and I don't know if we're going to sell these yet or not but you know you can take a you know an AC adapter plug like this it's a 2.1 millimeter and you can take your you know bare wires here which would go to an ALC or whatnot and then you, know, you just plug those right into the various the connectors um, as such and that'll work like that um, and finally, sorry for the terrible camera work, um, we're going to have a plate that will screw on top of here like so. We haven't yet put this into the machine and, you know, rounded off the corners and obviously there's going to be, you know, uh, screw positions in the corners to hold the top plate in place. Um, all of this will be anodized. We're planning on doing black so it all matches and um, these will again work for our 3.6 LED kits our 5.6 version will have a similar one except it'll be a slightly longer box to house a third driver here these will be used on our Fluval edge fixtures as well as the 12.1 or I'm sorry, uh, the 12 inch, um, the 12 inch hybrid fixtures, and uh, 
eventually the 18. In the hybrid fixtures, though, we're going to replace one of the LED drivers with a, with a workhorse ballast instead. So that'll be slightly different there. And obviously, it'll only have one dimming option. Um, you know, but you get the idea. So uh, that's it. So for all of you who have been wondering why your stuff is still pending, uh, this is it.